Hello, my name is Arian Knevel. Together with my wife Afi, we are already more than 40 years in the ministry. We are evangelists, we are hungry for souls, we love children, and we love to see people come to know the Lord Jesus. We are based in Holland, in Vlaardingen, and it's so wonderful that the world is our mission field. I remember that when we were in Nepal, after a revival meeting, we walked to our hotel. And then opposite the hotel, on the sidewalk, we saw two little boys sleeping under a piece of plastic. And my heart was so filled with the love and compassion of Jesus. In the middle of Kathmandu in Nepal, there are a lot of children who come from the mountain. They're orphans, they have no education, and they are begging on daytime uh, for the people and the tourists to have some money to buy milk and cookies. And while I was staring, I felt that the Lord said, what are you going to do about it? And after a lot of excuses, the Lord kept asking, what are you going to do about it? Those boys here, there are so many of them. You see that they are not healthy. They are not registered by uh, the council. They come from the mountains. Their parents died. And the only way to survive is by begging for the tourists or other people. They are glue sniffers, eh? You smell it, eh? they are glue sniffers. They are addicted too. So, what a terrible future without the Lord. But we love those kids and we give some food and some cookies and some milk. But uh, it is really horrible because they deserve a good future. I pray that you will reveal your love to him, Father. Protect him, Lord. And Lord, help him, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. You love the children. You love the poor. And we pray that they will go to school and that they will have a future with you. We started an orphanage in the city of Kathmandu and we called it the Father's House. And a little 40 children now, they live in the Father's House. They go to school, they have education, and on a Sunday they go in a bus to the church and they hear about Jesus Christ. Exactly one year ago, my wife and I and our team, we were in Cuba for holding revival meetings. And then we heard the devastating news uh, of one of our board members who called us in the middle of the night. And he said, Brother Arian, he said, a terrible earthquake has happened. And then a day later, we were so shocked. And the first thing that came to our, our mind was, we want to go to Nepal to see our kids. A day later, he phoned us and that brother said, I have good news and bad news. He said the good news is that all the 39 kids from the father's house are still alive. Because when it happened, they were on their way to school. The bad news is that the whole building collapsed. So they didn't have a home anymore. And now for months they are sleeping on the street under a tent. And there is still a great devastation in Nepal. It's not on the news anymore. But still the infrastructure is damaged. There is a lot of chaos and still thousands of people. They are living under a, 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 an easy shelter. They lost their house. We are so happy that an organization in Holland helped us by buying a piece of land. So we are going to build the house of the father's house. We are going to build and give the children a brand new home. May I ask you, for those who are watching, please help us. Help us so that we can build and finish the orphanage in Kathmandu, Nepal. Let us give the children a home again. They suffered for so many months. They want a shelter. They want, 
their own bedrooms for the boys and the girls. Please donate and help us and let us do everything to help the children in Nepal and the children will be happy again. I believe that if we invest in the life of a child, in the lives of children, then we are touching the heart of our Heavenly Father. Jesus says very clearly, if you receive a child in my name, you receive me. So please help us, help us. Any amount, small or big, is so welcome to help the children in Nepal. You'll find all the information in your screen. And when you are not living in Holland, when you live abroad, please use the international code, the BIC code. And the number is, you will see it in the screen, a B N A N L 2 A. Also, you can donate to help the children on our website. There is a special uh, donate button where you can donate your money for the children. On behalf of all the children of the Father's House in Nepal, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. We want to say, God bless you for everything what you are doing. We'll keep in touch and for every donation which come in, we like to send you a present, a DVD of the children, how it all started of the Father's house. God bless you for your generous help and God bless your business and God bless your family. Enjoy health and peace.